four main changes. Two of them are of global relevance and uh, two of them are, let's say, territorial relevance. Uh, the global relevance is clear. It's mainly the credit quality uh, issue, partly based on COVID. And the second issue is the pressure on the business models. Looking at the credit quality issues, we are all sure that COVID will have an impact on credit quality. And we know that as of today, we have not seen the impact in full. We mainly expect when the prudential relief measures will phase out, and this will be very different from country to country. But at that time, we will see more uh, impacts on the credit quality and the more impacts we'll see on credit quality the more we will see increasing loan loss provisions and of course we will observe decreasing capital ratios which is very very relevant and hopefully not too critical for the banking industry the second change which we will observe during the next years and we have already observed it during the last years it's the business model. We are still in a long lasting low interest rate environment. Uh, and at least looking at ECB, we do not expect for uh, the Eurozone that this low interest environment will change during the next years. Secondly, of course, the digitalization of the bank processes. This is an ongoing development which hasn't come to an end as of today. So this will be very much changing the business model in the futures as well. And the third issue has also been mentioned, sustainable finance and the, the impact on the business models of banks uh, by sustainable finance. The other thing which also will become uh, critical is the competition with the big fintechs for the banking industry. This is also an issue which will impact uh, the business model. So these are the for sure global re relevant uh, issues, especially in Europe. We discussed two more uh, issues. First of all, Brexit and the second is the rotation of auditors. As a consequence of Brexit, we observe that portfolios run from London to uh, continental Europe and mainly in the two financial hubs, Paris and Frankfurt, but uh, also some portfolios are going to Dublin or to Luxembourg. So there's a lot of movement in that. And to be honest, as of today, we have no idea. And this very much depends on whether there will, will be a, an agreement between uh, the UK and the Euro, whether after the portfolios, the processes also will uh, move to continental Europe. So this is quite a big uncertainty, but uh, very much under discussion right now. The last point somehow sounds like a typical question for an audit firm, but it is much more. Rotation of auditors is also a challenge for banks. When you have different audit reforms and different regulations within the globe, it can be very challenging for a huge, for global banks to identify the right auditor in specific countries. And uh, as we have the rotation of auditors in continental Europe and not in the US, we'll see that uh, especially the US investment banks, but also other investment banks, for example, in, in Swiss, they see the reason to rotate and the, not only for the country where the legal entity is, is hosted. So these are the impacts on the banking industry key changes that we observe.